Welcome back to Let's Play Jackal on NES. This is RPG Bros. I'm Sean. I am Justin. And we are on the last leg of this game. Just working through it. And we've got a challenging level here with a lot of enemies. So we're going to do our best. Yep, we're going to have some fun showing you this level. Um, this is, of course, the most challenging level in the game. I know it's cliche for the last level to be the most challenging, right? But, um... In this case, it actually is. In this case, it actually is. Um, by quite a fair margin, honestly. Like, yeah, um, just a lot more going on. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of enemies, um, longer ranges. The enemies are further away, like the turrets, for instance. Got the helicopters. Helicopters are going to come up here. They're attack helicopters. They move erratically and are, and are kind of tough to kill if you're not prepared. You kind of This next section of the level, you just have to go really slow through... And you have to know where they spawn from, because otherwise you're just in a, in a supremely dangerous position to, to get killed by the helicopter. Um, so there's a jeep you can get rid of, um, and then a tank come up in this dead end. Yeah, so that helps a little bit. You can get rid of those enemies, because there's going to be a lot that are up here, and it, it helps to, you know, Okay, so our first helicopter is going to come through here. We're going to be shooting north in order to make sure that we kill it as it spawns. There we go. And then the um, other key is to kill those two turrets and then wait and shoot north. Um, it's going to spawn again, as you can see. And then you want to shoot north more now. Um, yeah, and you got to make sure your shit is actually spreading because... Woo! Because if it's not... Yeah, then you... You're liable to kill. There it was again. Okay, switch spots. There it was again. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> No! Nice. Okay, yeah, we got this. Dude. You can see, yeah, you gotta take it slow because these guys. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, they come from everywhere. So there's another helicopter that's going to come up here. Once we kill these turrets off, um, it's basically going to be a helicopter coming from the north as we go through that gap. And so it's another one of those situations where you just really want to each kind of spread a little and just be firing north and going slow. The one guy's got to kind of go first. Nice. God, I can't believe we missed him. Whew. Alright, so anyways, you can see how difficult that is. Like, even when you're prepared. Yeah, like, I mean, we were just firing like nobody's business. And... Like, and it still got through. Still tried to kill us. So the next two helicopters are even more difficult. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, God. Uh, God. I'm okay, okay, hold on. Here so, comes the spread guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to stay a little back and... Nice job. Right on it. Right. Okay, so a helicopter's gonna come from behind, right? Isn't it here? Yeah, it's right here. Yes! Alright. Right. So, as you can see, total pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, God. Gosh, man. Jesus. Whew. Takes all of our reaction skills. takes it all out of you. So there's a there's a, a missile level up in case you died. Yeah, in case you died, that's a missile upgrade. Careful, careful. Killed him. I don't know how. I just randomly hit it. So there's one final helicopter in this level um, that you have to be aware of. And uh, it's going to come up here. There's going to be a little cannon, or a canyon of turrets that uh, is going to be up here. Yeah. And it's... Oh, there's also two Seeker Missile Launchers in this next area. So, you gotta be ready for that, too. Jeeps, man, I hate those guys. I know, they come fast. And kamikaze bastards. <laughs> okay, so here's the homing missiles. You just kind of want to be firing north here um, in order to prepare for that. I got them distracted here. You should probably get out of there, though. Let's get them off the screen. Yeah, so Let's what? kill the other missile launcher real quick. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, I got the... 
seen her this So. Okay, so. God, it's just so stressful. Um, yeah, it really is. I'm getting there, though. There we are. So, here's where the next helicopter is going to be. Um, first, you got to get through this, this conveyor belt area with all the turrets. Yeah. Um, which, of course, is tough. Um, there's four. And then you want to stay on the conveyor here. Because what's going to happen is the, the helicopter is going to come from behind you. And it'll appear right when you hit the cement. And, but you don't want to get up on the cement right away because there's some tanks and some artillery up there. So you want to stay on the be sure to stay on the conveyor. Um, God. Watch out, watch out. Got him, got him. Ugh, Jesus. Okay, that's just... Okay. okay. Alright, so... I'm getting there now. So, do not get off the conveyor belt. There's the rule here. Because as soon as you get off the conveyor belt, these enemies have to be killed. They're machine gun artillery... or, uh, infantry. And, um... You just don't want to get off the conveyor belt until they're dead. Because if you do, you're gonna have a helicopter come from behind you. So as soon as you get off the conveyor, okay. you want to turn around. the other way. No, both of us go forward onto the cement, and then we turn around. Okay? Go. Got him. Got him. Right. Okay, so there's only one more <laughs> helicopter to worry about in the whole freaking level. Yeah. Um, and it's right up here. So you want to get the tanks. You don't want to go too far forward. So stay back, stay back, let the tanks spawn. Okay, okay, back, back. Don't go past that exact spot. If you do, the enemy will start. And then, the helicopter's gonna come right about right here where I am, uh, where the skull is. So you both just want to go forward on the skull and then fire immediately. Okay, and then you can stand right here and bomb on the enemy, and then tanks will come from behind. You gotta be prepared for that. Uh, when they do come, both turn around and both fire. Okay, now the, the, there's a tactic here too. You go back and forth, we'll show you. Alright, we're gonna see if we can wrap this up. Well, anyway, I didn't go back and forth quite right. This is why you gotta have a lot of lives at the end, because at this point, you're just really in a precarious position. Um, you just gotta kind of really battle and try not to die too much. Um, you know, it's totally acceptable, of course, at this point to, to have a few deaths, because that's what we stockpile all of our lives for. Um, but it's still, you know, it's a tough, tough battle. Got him, got him. Alright. That's it. Cool. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to enjoy the ending and, you know, that was a, a really cool game. Glad we got to show it to everybody. Yeah. Love this game. Um, I really enjoyed the ending as well. I think it's a, you know, a masterpiece. Well done. Your mission accomplished. Yep. Got a cigar. And Watching the sunset. Yep. Helicopters coming to take you away. Everybody's in good health, so nobody's laid out on a stretcher or anything. Nope. Well, that's what happens when you have a successful jackal mission. Yep. Um, you wind up not dying a lot, and, you know, you just kind of bust through it. Yep. So, pretty good ending, I'd say, for an NES game. I totally agree. You know, uh, not really too intricate. I mean, you got this pretty cool art here, the pixel art, and then, um, you know, you got your scrolling, scrolling credits here. Soundtrack's really victorious. Yep, so we got a cool song to listen to. And then basically you push start, and uh, the game starts over. Yeah, so that was Let's Play Jackal. Thanks for watching RPG Bros, and keep those buttons moving. Yep. Till next time, have a good one.